Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve issues if your printer is offline on your Windows device. So this is a somewhat common issue, but in this brief tutorial I'm going to show you guys a quick fix. So before we do anything in this tutorial, please ensure your printer is all hooked up as it should be. If it's a wireless printer, please make sure that the wireless capabilities are enabled on the printer. This tutorial is pretty much geared towards those who had a working normal printer and then all of a sudden out of the blue it's no longer working and it shows that the printer is offline on your computer. So we're going to jump right into it and we are going to start by heading over and opening up the star menu and we're going to type in devices and printers. On Windows 10 it should come up right above control panel. On Windows 8 and earlier it should just say devices and printers. You want to open that up. This is basically just a shortcut to get to the devices and printers section of the control panel. So then we're going to select our printer from the list. It'll typically have a green circle and a white check mark in the middle of it. I do not have one listed here because I guess I do not have a default printer. But I'm just letting you guys know that you should be able to identify your printer from this list. So I'm going to select what appears to be my Canon printer. Right clicking on it. And then I'm going to select Printer Preferences. Should be third option down. And then I'm going to select Printer Properties. Should be the fourth option down. So underneath General, you want to left click on Change Properties at the bottom left corner here. You want to go underneath Ports, the Ports tab that comes up. So click on the Ports tab now. And now Whatever one is currently selected, you want to left click on configure port. This button should not be grayed out. If these buttons are grayed out, you want underneath a different area. So please rewatch part of this video going back a few seconds and just make sure you're underneath an area that these options are not grayed out and you're able to select them. So we're going to select configure port. Now there should be something near the bottom that says SNMP status enabled. You want to check mark inside this box keep these default values the same and then click on OK and then once you're done doing that you can click on close to close out of this window and you should be good to go. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.